A top female executive in the world of luxury watches and jewelry is in town to get to know more about the Philippine market. Coralie Chariol Paul is the creative director, executive chairwoman, and chief executive officer of the prestigious fashion house Chariol. Now, the brand has been around for nearly four decades, and there's no stopping it from creating fine jewelry and timeless pieces. Carolina joins us live here in the studio. Good morning, Carly. It's such Good a pleasure morning. to have you. Me too. I'm very happy to be here. I can't tell you how happy I am to be back in Asia. Right. Well, back in the Philippines, uh, home away from home is yes. how you describe it. You're a frequent visitor, and you have special, strong ties here in the country. Um, what's in, what's in uh, for you? Uh, what have you got planned for this visit? So this visit, we are uh, launching new products. Um, you know, I've, I haven't been here since the pandemic, mm -hmm. so I, I was here in 2019. Mm -hmm. Very different world now, 2022. Mm -hmm. Very happy to be back, um, opening new stores, which is great also because a lot of stores were closed during the pandemic, mm -hmm. True. but none of them went out of business mm -hmm. and we're going very strong for uh, 2023, which is our 40th anniversary. Right. It's a new era. Uh, in. in all departments, uh, particularly for, for Chariol, with you at the helm um, and, and uh, the new era in terms of what we look forward to in terms of your design, in terms of the spirit of Chariol. Um, there's a lot of um, looking back at, at the classic um, timepieces, jewelries, and sort of bringing it into this new uh, era, as, as we were saying. Uh, tell us a little bit about the, the collection. Yes, um, in fact, so, um, you know, I've been in the company for 20 years mm. working um, with my father who was the founder. And um, for me, there, the, he, he really laid down the, the, the foundation of Shariel. Sure. You know, he, he launched it all around the world. Mm -hmm. For me, it was uh, bringing it digitally. Yeah. We were digital before the pandemic, but during the pandemic, we really pushed uh, very hard so on digital. It was a great accelerator, wasn't it? Yeah. Big accelerator. Yeah which was very good. And now we're really going omni-channel. Mm -hmm. So we're really mixing the digital and the retail. Because right. I don't believe retail is dead. Mm. I think retail is as important as digital. Absolutely. And I want to get every generation. <laughs> right. You have, th that's exactly what I'm getting at. You have one foot in, in each sort of uh, area, digital, uh, bricks and mortar, um, your, your um, how would you call it, uh, people who have traditionally always enjoyed Chariol Correct. and those who are sort of uh, learning about it now and, and sort of uh, enjoying and appreciating it now. Correct. One of my latest designs is in fact taking the cable that we're very like known this. for and, atta and making it um, attachable to the Apple Watch. Okay. So in fact bringing a luxury um, bracelet, yeah. Swiss made, yes. to your tech, mm -hmm. right? And marrying the two. Right. Marrying your tech because people need their tech. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you need to count your steps. <laughs> But it also needs to look good. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's timeless. Uh, the, the cable, of course, signature of uh, Chariol. Um, tell us a little bit more about some of the other pieces. Uh, you've updated the, uh, the Saint-Tropez watch. Uh, absolutely, so absolutely. So I have been designing uh, in different categories, uh, mm. um, and I did jewelry for a lo very long time. So when I came on board as CEO, the jewelry was easy. Yeah. I uh, updated it. I have some of my newest mm. lines uh, that I'm wearing today. I have the Bangle Mania. Yep. But also the, the Saint-Tropez watch, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. I took an iconic piece, yeah. our bestseller, yeah. and I dared to touch it, you know? <laughs> and what I did was really upgrade it um, mm. because I, I refined it and I, I made it basically the 2.0. Yeah. Um, it's like a ni Porsche 911, you sure. know? It's just the next model. Mm -hmm. Still has all the Chariel characteristics, but it's the new version. Right, and I think luxury is, is taking that sort of, um, it's turning that corner. It's, it's something that is, completely the opposite of, of disposable, of, of things that, that yes. tend to sort of uh, rise and fall with trends. They're timeless pieces, investment pieces, yes. uh, things that sort of transcend um, fashion. Absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, let's I mean, talk about that. I, I agree. I mean, everything you wear usually tells a story. Mm. You know, it's a, a gift from your mother, a wedding, yeah. a present, um, you know, a, a present to yourself because sure. of a promotion. Yeah. So all the jewelry pieces that you wear are usually storytelling yeah. and they really become part of you right and and then it's also part of your style i mean you you can rock any size and jewelry will always fit right, you know right. so for me that's what i love about jewelry mm -hmm. it always accentuates your outfit and tells a story right l'art uh, la vive la différence oui, as, 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 as is uh, the motto of uh, chariot uh, a few years ago you produced a documentary called the story of plastic and this is interesting because as a luxury brand you uh, feel it's very important to to give back 
and, and for all of us to sort of um, you know, have in our consciousness uh, the idea that uh, yeah, things shouldn't be disposable, things should be made to last, and, and we should be caring for these things. It's the single use mm. that really drives me crazy. Yeah. And um, documentary films have had a revolution since 2009. Now you, everybody watches documentaries. Yeah. I mean, they're fascinating, they're well made, they really tell the story. And for me, I got involved uh, supporting filmmakers mm -hmm. uh, to complete their projects. Mm -hmm. So um, Steve Wilson and Dia Schlossberg were the mm -hmm. two um, filmmakers on this uh, documentary. Yeah. I got involved. And for me, I brought it to the Philippines as an avant-première um, mm -hmm. uh, screening. Yeah. And uh, we worked with the Mother Earth uh, Foundation and Greenpeace because they're actually portrayed in the film. Yeah and they are doing the hard work that is on the ground yeah. and fighting this constant uh, plastic invasion, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. the single use. What are some of the foundations that you personally and, and the brand uh, support? So for me, um, women empowerment. Yeah. Okay, so women education is very important. I'm talking about secondary education mm -hmm. um, because I, I strongly believe um, that the woman can really, with an education, can help her family, can help her community. Sure. And so I always, um, we had a campaign called uh, Watch Me Graduate. Mm -hmm. So for me, that was very, very important. So women uh, empowerment as well as um, environmental issues. Right. So the non-plastic, I removed all plastic from my packaging. Mm -hmm. So now it's 100% paper, which can be recycled. Right. And then as well as uh, other environments uh, with the elephant preservation. And uh, it's, all, it's all under the environment right, really right. so elephant elephant preservation the ocean preservation right and um, also there's a recent one that was the tiger preservation fantastic so. stuff fantastic stuff well, with you at the helm what is in the future for uh, <laughs> uh, Chariot so for me um, so many things yeah. uh, I have a new line coming out mm -hmm. in 2023 for the 40th anniversary mm -hmm. uh, we are joining the watch and wonders fair uh, in Switzerland yeah. I'm also retelling the story of Chariol and retelling its Swiss origin hmm. and, um, and also, you know, really partnering with um, different NGOs, like I just said, around the environment and women education. Okay, well, we know that you're not going to be here for, for very long, at least here in the Philippines is what I mean. What have you got planned for your, for your short visit? Oh my gosh, um, lots of boutique tours yeah, yeah. and I have a big party tomorrow mm -hmm. night. Uh, actually, no, sorry, tonight mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at uh, the Okada and we are launching the Mariner collection. Mm -hmm. And then uh, maybe a little quick trip to Palawan. A little bit of R&R, &R, yeah, a little bit of R&R. &R. <laughs> but, you know, Philippines, you have to mix business and pleasure. Absolutely, absolutely. And it has been an absolute pleasure to be here chatting with you, celebrating uh, close to 40 years of Chariot. Yes. It's such a pleasure, Carly, to have you here. Uh, and please do continue to, to do what uh, Chariot does best. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Thank you.